there are many ways to send events to Google Analytics. In a previous video, I showed you how to send events from Typebot using the data layer to then capture that data with Google Tag Manager and then send that over to Google Analytics. Another way to send data to Google Analytics is using Google Tag Manager's built-in trigger called Form Submission. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set that up. Head over to tagmanager.google.com and select your workspace. Here I have my Cabin Promos workspace selected. First, we need to set up a variable. Head over to Configure and then scroll down. And under Forms, you can select all of these different elements. Your situation might vary a little bit than mine. For instance, in my form, I can't access a form ID because the website builder that I'm using doesn't use one and I can't inject one. So I have to rely on selecting the, the class on the form. In any case, these are all the different ways that you can target your form when the leaf submits it. After you enable this built-in variable, head over to triggers. And here I've already created one. Give your trigger a descriptive name, head over to trigger configuration, and the trigger type will be down here under user engagement called form submission. In my case, I wanna trigger the forms with the class names that have this. Next, we want to fire this trigger to send an event to both Google Analytics 4 and Universal Analytics. I created videos on how to set both of these up. Next, what we wanna do is preview our changes. So let's go to preview. I'll click on continue and Tag Assistant open up a new tab with my website on it. Next, I'm going to access my form. Here it is. I'm gonna fill out the form and submit. Going back to Tag Assistant, I can see four new events. So one thing to call out here, Spread Simple is the website platform that I'm using for my website and automatically they're sending two different events into the data layer called Form Start and Form Submit. These other two are based off of the built-in triggers that we just created within Google Tag Manager. Now, I'm not quite sure why there are two different events with the same name called Form Submit right here, but if we drill down and look at these a little bit further and head over to the data layer, we can see that one event doesn't have a class name for the element, but if I go to the other form submit event and go to element classes, we see the form that we want to target based off of the form submission event. Based off of this, it looks like our tag fired successfully. So let's go over to tags and verify. Here we can see our tags fired. So it fired Universal Analytics event and the Google Analytics 4 event. So if we go to our Google Analytics accounts, here we are in Universal Analytics and under real time reports and events, we can see that this event got fired. And if we head to Google Analytics 4 right up here and go to reports, go to real time, and then scroll down to event, we can see that we received a generate lead event along with a conversion. I created videos on how to set up conversions in both Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. In any case, this is one different method to track form submissions to then send those events over to Google Analytics and mark them down as conversions. Fun fact, did you know there are seven different methods to send form submission events to Google Analytics? Yeah, that's right, there's seven. To add even more complexity to this, the way to track form submission events also varies based off of what kind of website builder you have and the type of form that you have. But hopefully this can guide you in the right direction. In the next video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up form submission events using an add event listener that triggers when a form gets submitted on your website.